Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn a new topic. Now, it's not really going to be a new topic because this is what you probably would have already learned in year 7 and it's called measuring mass. So as you probably already know, mass is the amount of matter in an object. It is the correct term of what many people call weight. Okay, so basically your mass is meant to be measured in kilograms. So I'm just going to go through some of these questions quickly because I feel that you probably already know how to do these. But nevertheless, let's just get started. So let's take a look at question two. Write the mass which best matches each item. Choose from 3 kilogram, 7 kilogram, 22 kilogram, 85 kilogram. So you can just think of mass as like the weight of something. Okay, that's what mass means. So let's just take a look. A newborn baby. So a newborn baby is... So a newborn baby can't be 85 kilograms because that would be a massive baby. So I would think a newborn baby is probably 3 kilograms. A 6-year-old child. A 6-year-old child is probably 22 kilograms, right? If I was to guess. An adult man. Okay, adult man. Probably around 85 kilograms. And, and what's the last one? The last one is 10-pin bowling ball. Okay, so a 10-pin bowling ball is most likely less than a newborn baby. So I actually think that a newborn baby is going to be a 7 kilograms, whilst a 10-pin bowling ball is 3 kilograms. So a good way that you can do these questions is just sort these things by the order of mass, and then so you can match the heaviest one with the the heaviest and then so on so it doesn't really matter how you do these questions but that's the how, how i would do it all right let's take a look at another question write the mass which best matches each item okay so i'm just going to sort which one i think is the heaviest so i think a large can of fruit is probably the heaviest and then probably a loaf of sliced bread and then an apple and then a 20 cent piece right so starting from this, this is going to be the heaviest. So the heaviest is what? 825 grams. And then 680 grams. And then 100 grams and 12 grams. Okay, so hopefully these questions are quite easy. As you can probably see. Let's take a look at question 4. Which units, grams, kilograms or tons do you think are most suitable for measuring the mass of? Now for those of you who don't know, 1 ton is equal to 1000 kilograms. Okay. So that means a family car. So I would think tons. T for tons. So I think a family car is probably worth a few tons there. A house brick. A house brick is probably in kilograms. A horse. Mm, I think a horse is probably in kilograms as well. And orange is probably in grams. Alright, so I'm not going to do all of them, but like you kind of get the point of how to do these questions, right? Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to skip these, because there will be a similar exercise which will test you on this. I'm just going to move on to 3.6. Now, these are calculations with mass, so these are questions which well, you need to use calculations to work out. So let's just take a look. Three men weigh 68 kilograms, 79 kilograms, and 83 kilograms. What is their total mass? So to find their total mass, you just need to add up the three weights, right? So 68 plus 79 plus the 83. And what does that equal to? Well, we can use a calculator to do it. So you can do 68 plus 79 plus 83. And that's 230. So... Pretty straightforward, right? Alright, let's take a look, look at another question. So say, find the total mass of 50 nails if the mass of each nail is 1.7 grams. So if one nail is 1.7 grams, how many, how much would 50 nails weigh? So you just multiply 1.7 by 50, right? So that's pretty straightforward. And that should give you the 85 grams. Now you can use a calculator if you want, but if you can do it in your head, that's even better. Okay, so... I'm just going to pick some more. 
John's dad bought one and a half kilograms of nuts. John and his friends ate 395 grams of them. What mass is left? Okay, so for this one, it's a little bit tricky, but make sure you convert the grams into kilograms or you can convert the kilograms the into grams. Okay, so tell you what, so I'm just going to convert the kilograms the, the into grams. So one and a half ki kilograms, how many grams is that? So to convert one, one and a half. So one and a half is the same as 1.5 kilograms. So you've got to convert this into the number of grams. So to convert this into number of grams, it's the same concept as when you convert from kilometers to meters. You times this by a thousand. So if you times this by a thousand, you should get 1,500 grams. The takeaway, 395 grams, right? So what should that give you? That should give you 1,105 grams. Okay, so just be, be careful with some of these. You need to make sure you convert both units into the same one before doing these questions. Let's take a look at this one. So this is a kind of a similar question where they don't give you the same units. Charlie bought five tons of garden mulch. She used 3,850 kilograms. What mass in kilograms remains? Okay, because the question says what mass in kilograms remains, you have to convert both units into kilograms. So we know that one ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms. So five tons should be 5,000 kilograms, right? So then to work out how much mass is left, we just do 5,000 kilograms, take away 3,850 kilograms. So what we should get is 1,150 kilograms. Make sure you write the, the, the units at the end, okay? All right, so that's how you do these questions. So hopefully there's no dramas with these because I feel like you have done these questions in year seven already. So, and, and after all, this is a year seven topic. So I assume you've mastered your year seven content and you don't need to be taught the content again. Now, this whole sheet is what I'm going to aim for today because I feel that if you do this whole sheet, you should be able to do most of the questions that can be asked that's related to mass. So, so let's just take a look. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. That's something we already know. In the metric system, there's, there's milligrams, there's grams, there's kilograms and tons. So, and I used to measure mass. So we know that in one gram, there's going to be a thousand milligrams. In one kilogram, there's a thousand grams. And in one ton, there's a thousand kilograms. So this is similar to the other metric units topic. So to change to a larger unit, you have to divide. So if you change into a larger unit, you divide. Change into a smaller unit, multiply. So just to remember this and you should do what? And the, the, the easy part of these questions is that it's always a thousand. So like, so the, unlike the, the units of measurement for the distance, you have centimeters, which is like a hundred, right? And when you convert from say centimeters to millimeters, you have to times it by 10. So there's no tens or one hundreds that we have to deal with. It's all going to be a thousand, as you can see. So it's actually even easier because the, the, there's only a thousand that we need to work with. So uh, let's just take a look at a few questions. So if you want to convert to kilogram from, from grams, so you're converting to a bigger unit, you have to divide by a thousand. So say for question three, 6,500 grams is how many kilograms? You divide it by a thousand, you get 6.5 kilograms. If you're not sure, you can, you, you can use your calculator. So let's take a look, 6,500 divided by a thousand. 6.5, right? 6.5 kilograms. Let's take a look at the last one. To convert 640 grams to kilograms, you can divide that by a thousand. So what should we get? 0 0.64. So make sure you write the, the unit, 0 0.64 kilograms. Convert to tons, because you're changing to a bigger unit, as we know tons is bigger than kilograms, we've got to divide by a thousand. So for question nine, you divide this by a thousand, you should get eight tons. So you can write T for tons, okay? So as you can see, they also wrote the T here. To convert 650 kilo kilograms to tons, you divide by a thousand, you can use your calculator or you can just do it in your head. So was it 0 0.65 tons? All right, so now in these questions, they're changing into a s smaller unit, so then you have to multiply. So if you multiply 12 kilograms by 1,000, you get 12,000 grams, right? 0 0.05 kilograms by 1,000, so you can use your calculator, but you just have to multiply by 1,000 and you should get 50 grams. Same questions here, change your kilograms from tons, go to times by 1,000. So 3.5 times 1,000 gives you 3,500 kilograms. 
All right, so I'm not going to do all these questions as they should be quite easy. And lastly, changing to milligrams from grams, you've got to times it by a thousand, right? And the symbol for milligrams is the mg. Okay. Now for question B, these are kind of similar exercises to A, except they are just scrambled up rather than you knowing what, because question A, they're just all the same questions in each section, but question B is scrambled up. So you just got to pay a bit more attention to it. So it's just, if I had to pick a random question, 4.8 kilograms is how many grams? Remember, kilograms to grams, you times by a thousand, so you should get 4,800. Now, the last one, 4,030 kilograms to tons. Remember, you're converting to a bigger unit, we have to divide by a thousand. So divide this by a thousand, you get 4.03. So, so like I said, if you're not sure how to divide by a thousand, just use your calculator, it's, it's fine. Okay, so hopefully there's no dramas for section B as well. Now section C, section C says for each question write the mass that is greater. So as you've probably seen these questions in the past, so all you have to do is convert one of these units into the other one and and then you just compare. So for example, if I had to do question one, 1,200 grams or 12 kilograms. So what I can do is I can convert 1,200 grams into kilograms. So how do we do that? Well, remember to convert to a bigger unit, you've got to divide by a thousand. So one point, so one thousand two hundred grams is going to be one point two kilograms, right? Divide by this number by a thousand, and then it's basically asking you is one point two kilograms. So which one is bigger, one point two kilograms or twelve kilograms? Well, it's going to be twelve, right? So you just circle the twelve. All right, let's take a look at a slightly harder one. So question fifteen. Now for question fifteen. This one's a little bit more challenging is because we don't actually know how to convert from tons to grams because we can we only know how to convert from tons to, to kilograms. So then for a question like this, you need to do it in two steps. So what I can do is just convert tons to kilograms. So five tons is how many kilograms? So remember, one ton is a thousand kilograms. So five tons should be five thousand kilograms, right? And then I can convert five thousand kilograms the into grams and then I can compare. So 5,000 kilograms, how many grams is in 5,000 kilograms? Well, remember, one kilogram is 1,000 grams, so 5,000 kilograms, you times this number by 1,000, so you should get 5 a million grams, right? So now the question is, which one is heavier? 600,000 grams or 5 million grams? Well, of course, it's going to be 5 million, right? So, then I, so I circle the 5 ton. So this question is a little bit more challenging because we have to convert the units twice. It's not a, it's not a direct relationship between milligrams to grams. So remember, if you're converting from milligrams to kilograms, you have to divide a thousand and then divide a, th a thousand again, right? Because it's going two steps. And to convert from tons to grams, you got to times by a thousand and then times by another one thousand. So I hope that's quite clear. So I'll do one more question, okay? So say question 16, which one is bigger? 840,000 milligrams or 0 0.8 kilograms? So normally with these questions, what I like to do is just convert the bigger one into the small one because, because I find that it's easier to multiply by a number than to divide by a number, okay? So just do it one step at a time. 0 0.8 kilograms is equal to the how many grams, right? Because from kilograms, the next one down is grams, right? So you're going to times this by a, a thousand, so we can use a calculator. So 0 0.8, so I can just type 0 0.8 times a thousand. You have the 800 grams. Now 800 grams is how many milligrams? Now we have to multiply this number by a thousand again, right? Because one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. So what we can do is just do times well, I can use, sorry, the, the 800 times by 1,000, which is the 800,000. 800,000 milligrams. So now the question is, which one is greater? 840,000 milligrams or 800,000 milligrams? Well, it's going to be 840,000, right? So then this is the greater mass. Okay, so that's all for today. So hopefully there's not much dramas with this topic as 
after all, this is an year seven topic. And so if you do have any questions, just feel free to shoot me a message or you can post it in front of the whole class. Thank you for listening.